We're doing side quests in space between uh, where we were last time in Pinnacle Station and going to Pharos. Um, so the first one is about a biotic commune. And I think we got this one. Remember when you were like, what was that? When we heard that weird noise in one of the embassies on the Citadel? Yeah, you took a you took a quest on and it had that like ominous music. I think this is it. Okay. It's either this one or the other one. Message coming in, Commander. Big surprise, the Alliance needs you again. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett with Alliance Command. We've got a mission for you. Major Kyle, your commanding officer Torfin, has set up a small compound at a hulking Eta cluster. He's attracted a number of biotic followers. He's become an outspoken critic of the Alliance, and we believe he's mentally unstable. This could be trouble, Shepard. If, if you already took on the mission, why are you being briefed on it what kind Later. of proof do you have? Because I didn't take on the mission. I um, ago, I hacked a console to that compound. told me that what was going on, oh, and now okay. I'm going so straight there. So they didn't know you didn't. They didn't know you knew yet. Yeah, but once I got in the system, they were like, "Hey, Shepard's here. Maybe Shepard he can fix this." Got it. You said his followers were biotics. Yes. Major Kyle never showed any biotic tendencies himself, though. I think he's just latched onto a group he identifies with. Many biotics feel marginalized. He's a wanted biotic. By society. Kyle probably sees them as victims who need his protection. And they see him as someone who will fight for them. He's biotic Unfortunately, kin. he's convinced them that the Alliance is somehow responsible for all their problems. We can't let him go on like this. What were those Alliance representatives going to talk to Major Kyle about? They wanted to bring him back to an Alliance for some of treatment. Major Kyle served She's so pretty. Years, I can't handle it. Him. I'm, I'm glad I, mine, I built her using the basic model instead of trying to tweak her features. What else can you tell me about Major Kyle? He's not the same man you served under. He feels responsible for the Alliance soldiers who died at Torfin. His psych evaluations showed he couldn't handle the stress of command anymore. He was given an honorable discharge in early retirement. Okay, so which Star Trek episode is this referencing? Omega Glory? I think. Was this exact story? I'm not sure. How permanent a solution are you looking for? We don't want this to turn into a massacre, Commander. Kyle is dangerous. I trust you to use your judgment. All right. Hack it out. So here we go. And I did a lot of jump cutting to get us to where we need to go really quickly. So, um... I'm really sorry if you, if you get a little freaked out with uh, the jump cuts, but I'm just trying to speed things along instead of having it drag. So we won't be doing too much visibly in the Mako. Um, but I assure you, when I was filming this, it was about two hours running around this tank. <laughs> but anyway, um, the party we use for all these side quests is Talizora and Liara. We're going to use them f for everything throughout the rest of the game because they're amazing together, as I f found out doing all this stuff. This is technically the first uh, Mako exploration mission, so I went ahead and uh, filmed this whole thing and put it together just so we could, I could show you my uh, method for doing this. Basically, you can um, set a uh, waypoint at one of these beacons and then go investigate it in the car. Okay. And then you set the next waypoint, rinse, repeat. So, so here we go! Like, there's, unlike the mission where we were fighting the Geth, this isn't a linear path. You're just going around wherever you feel you're supposed to. Yeah, it's like open world exploration a little bit. Wow, this thing can really climb. <laughs> yeah, it's like Jeez. a horse. <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous. And then... Oh my god! Ah, is this sped up? Yes, it's sped up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm just picturing an actual sci-fi movie where they're all driving like this. They're just running over things. No, 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 just bouncing around. Turian insignia. I know what that is. Yeah, we we gotta collect those. But um, this is uh just an example of the kind of random stuff you can find. Uh, a team of illegal wildcat miners that somehow just died down here in this crater. All right. Um, like I said, on on all the other planets, I didn't show this off as much. I just felt like I wanted to get the uh, the first planet's experience to itself. Um, so we're gonna set our next waypoint here and go 
check out what the debris field over there is, apparently. And off we go! Look at me! I'm a freaking... Man, if this... This should be like... <laughs> They should make a sci-fi version of Driving Miss Daisy and just have it be exactly this. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot how bad I am at driving this thing. <laughs> just ramping off of everything in weird directions. Alright. I think this is the, the probe I screwed up and had to redo, but I don't remember. Spoilers! No! No, no! Now I know you screwed up the hacking like a doofus. Dude, this, these are hard. That does look hard. Like... Oh my god, I, I got... That gives you... You have a time limit on those, too, right? Yeah. Do, do, do. Okay. And then the final location, which is the little compound over there. So... Final destination. We can head over to compound and say hi to our buddy from Torvin. I, um... I think that's actually backstory relevant, because I picked the ruthless background. Um... That changes, depending on, on that. Really? Yeah, because it said he knew you from Torvin, and my shepherd is uh, the butcher of Torvin. That's her, like, title. Oh, okay. Because so uh, this guy's always meant to have a personal thing, connection to your shepherd character? I think so, but I'm not really totally sure. I like how just a minute ago you actually, like, you boosted sideways sanctuary. off that cliff. Outsiders are not welcome here. I need to talk to the man in charge. It's important. Father Kyle wants nothing more to do with the Alliance. <laughs> Commander Shepard's like, Commander little Shepherd. pigs! Commander little pigs! Have to speak to him. <laughs> Wait. Father Kyle will speak with you. Head to the building at the far end <laughs> of the And, like, everyone goes quiet He'll inside. And then, like, after a pause, Shepard, like, leans into the microphone and goes, Warriors! <laughs> 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 You're next. I know you. The butcher of Torfan. Why have you come here, Shepard? Why can't you leave us alone? Leave me alone! In that background music. What happened to those other Alliance officers? The ones who came before me? They wanted to take me away from here. They wanted me to abandon this place. Turn my back on my family. They All right, anybody that blasphemy. talks to the voice just like that, that... I Sleepy did I detachment. Their end quick and painless. Bad news. I yeah, he's nobody. No sane person talks like that. Children. He's pretty Only crazy. Them safe. The Reapers are our friends, Shepard. Only fools would see that they mean to do us harm. The Alliance sent me to bring you in, Major. Can't you see this has gotten out of hand? Don't you understand you are endangering your followers? I respect that you have come under a banner of peace. But I cannot do as you ask. If you take away their father, my children will be helpless. You ordered your followers to kill those Alliance investigators. You must face the consequences of your actions. Do you really want your children to suffer for your sins too? No. This... this was my fault. My children are innocent. Pure. Please. I never meant for this to happen. Was the renegade I, option to just I'm kill all sorry. his children until he complied? You're doing the right thing, Major. I'm not sure. I the didn't see what the renegade option was, but I would assume that would be something like that. It was more Wait, intimidation, I think, trying to get him to stand down because you have superior firepower or something. Be forced to kill them all. You have shown me the error of my ways. Renegade Commander. options aren't now you really time evil all the time. The or, yeah. way they will understand. They're more just like violent. Please. Yeah, but I mean, I know that if that were the option, she wouldn't actually go ahead and kill them, but the threat would be enough to convince him. This guy turned around completely in half a second. Yeah. Oh, I see you're a paragon. I will un I will comply with what you say, Shepard. Well, I was originally planning on not paragoning this, because I just wanted to kill him because he's crazy, but, you know, after the stunt with the journalist at the Citadel, I felt like throwing Admiral Hackett a bone. You know... All right. Shepard, when I give you a mission, it doesn't always have to end with you killing all the most important people in the mission. Message coming in. Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. 
To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it. But you saved a lot See, of lives. See, he was even expecting it. Congratulations. He's like, that Shepard punching journalists. Yeah. He's going to go kill those guys. It oh, make, well. It makes you feel really good. I love Admiral Hackett because he's just so calm and, like, down to earth with you. Yeah, he... He doesn't throw hissy fits like almost everybody else that you interact with around, like... Well, he doesn't work on the Citadel, but, like, when you're talking to the the council and stuff, they're all like, Why'd you do this? Why'd you do that? It's gonna look bad for us. Think of the fallout. Hackett's like, if you had to do it, you had to do it. Alright. This is the first planet we come across with a level 1 pressure hazard. Um, level 1 hazards really don't do much, uh, as far as I was able to see. Uh, level 2 is when it starts affecting your health. Um, but normally they, they can have like a visibility error and stuff like that. So it's like a permanent status effect? Yeah, basically. Okay. Um, but we're on this planet. Uh, do you remember Nasana Dantius? That lady on the Citadel that I told was, uh, told you seemed a little bit shady. The one, the Asari who, uh, has said her sister or daughter went missing? Yeah. We're on this planet investigating, um, the lead on that. Okay. And while we're, uh... Coming up on this base, uh, I notice I'm suddenly in the middle of a shit ton of snipers, and, um, yep, look at all, my, half my shields go down in, like, the first two seconds, because of just sniper bullets. And then, um, afterwards, a wonderful gunfight will start that I can totally show off in fast motion. Because gunfights are fun. And I feel like at least showing off how Mako combat works when you're just one against a bunch of snipers and stuff like that. It's pretty crazy. I wish there was, um, I think there's a way to zoom in the, uh, gun on the Mako, but I can't for the life of me remember exactly how to do it. So. That's only so, I guess. Mm -hmm. But you come across the situation a lot in these games. It's, it's kind of like the way Skyrim dungeons work. Um where you'll just randomly come across a pirate base and there'll be like a ton of snipers and stuff outside. Also, everyone sounds like chipmunks. Yeah, I'm enjoying that. Yes. <laughs> I am. Um, I hope you do. Because that's the way all the combat is because I fast forward every single bit of the combat <laughs> while I was editing this. It's like when they're reviewing the movie in the middle of Spaceballs. Yeah. You know, I finally watched the Nostalgia Critics uh, review of The Room last night. You haven't watched it yet? I had not. I I didn't even know how bad that movie actually was. Dude, I've actually seen half that movie before uh, Nostalgia Critic even did the review. That is... It's terrible. It's worse than Birdemic. Yes. Yes. My god. The, narr the Birdemic at least has a decent narrative. It's a narrative that's been done before a million times, but at least it's a narrative that you are, you're fine with. Uh, the room is just a bunch of whiny p white people. That's all the room is. And they're terrible at- most of them are terrible actors. It's terrible writing. I think we're about- yeah, we're running into the go guy now. But yeah, I- I saw it when Adult Swim aired it on one of their April Fool's stunts. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, me, go ahead! No, no, skip, go past this part. Go past this part. In fact, never play this again. Oh my god. Oh, um, one thing I forgot to mention. The, uh, kind of ammo rounds I'm using, uh, that cause the green health bars, mm -hmm. that means they can't regenerate health. Oh, okay. So basically I have poison shots. Which is really handy. Especially when fighting stuff like, uh, Krogans and, I think, Thresher Maws. But, uh, high health regen targets, you can tear apart with this. So would you say Commander Shepard was being a major asp? Yes. All right. So um, this is the first example of Tally and Liara um, working together in combat, and um, me having to manually hold down the X button and then move my mouse to show them exactly where to stand. But um, we get to see how they work, and they're absolutely ridiculous together. They can just clear a room by themselves. Go go, Shepherd Rangers! You should splice in some, uh... You should totally splice in some Ron Wasserman action music for this. Ron Wasserman? The original Power Rangers composer. Oh. The guy responsible for all the kick-ass fight music in the original series. 
cool. I might, if I can find some royal royalty free stuff, I might do that. But, you know. Anyway, um, I should also point out that Garrus is in this room. Because his, his voice is all of the Turian oh, voices. voices. Okay. You know, I've noticed at certain parts in the series that um, the guy who does Male Shepherd, like, they had to pitch shift his voice, but it is clearly his actor doing the role of certain extras. Yeah. And it's just really weird. I mean, I know, obviously, if, if they had to get a unique actor for every character in this game, uh, that would have been, like, a thousand people. But it's just, it's funny that they took their main guy... Mm -hmm. And was like, oh, they're not gonna notice if we just pitch up his voice a little bit. Well, um, Fimsha, uh, is the female commando's voice in Star Wars The Old Republic. The, uh, MMO. So, when I played Star Wars The Old Republic, I played that not knowing it, and when the voice came out, I was like, oh my god, the, ima the adventures of Commander Shepard continue. <laughs> and it was exactly like playing Commander Shepard all over again, except it was like Star Wars and Mass Effect combined together. <laughs> it was amazing. I loved it. Well, if, if Femship's voice actress did other actors, uh, did other roles in, this, in the Mass Effect trilogy, I didn't notice. Yeah, it's because... strong, right? No, it's not. Who is it? Um, I think Jennifer something. Jennifer Hale. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Um, Tara Strong as Commander Shepard. She does so many voices. <laughs> but I'm like, no, that, that sounds nothing like, uh... That sounds nothing like Tara Strong. Dear Princess Admiral Hackett. Uh, Jennifer... <laughs> <laughs> Today I've killed some Geth. I learned a valuable lesson about friendship today. One of my squad mates say, risked his life to save everybody, and he ended up dying. There was probably something I could have done was... about it, but I didn't complete the loyalty mission, so fuck him. <laughs> Your faithful student, Twilight Shepard. Oh my god. Whoa. What? Yeah, you could get hit by biotics too, and I almost die because I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, Jennifer Hale played... Um, Ivy from the cartoon series Where on Earth is Carmen San Diego. Yeah. Who I had kind of a crush on when I was a kid. Ivy. You know, I never watched that cartoon. I always wanted to. I, I mean, I loved the game or wherever. Uh, it's where a in good the, cartoon. Where did Where in the World did uh, Carmen San Diego come from? What? I thought that was like a board game or something first. It was a series of video games that taught kids uh, geography, history, and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Well, um, okay, so the jump cut was uh, me cutting out some of the exploration in this place because there's a lot of, like, crates and weird stuff okay. that you can find. And I'm getting a ton of loot from everywhere, so you might just see my weapons just randomly change. But we discover that Nasara Dantius um, and the Asari leading the slavers in this camp are actually sisters. Dun, dun, dun! So, you were sent here to rescue her sister... And you end up killing her. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the next one is the guy named Garoth. Um, so we're looking for, uh, Garoth's brother in his ship. And Garoth was the guy that was in the Citadel Chamber that we talked to in the last episode. So. Alright, wait, so wait, back, this is, back up, this is a totally different mission? Yeah, this is a totally you, different mission and now. So we, we watched you kill the girl already? Like, she was in that room? And you she was her? one of those random people that was just in that oh, building. Oh, okay, so you find out from that data pad after you've already swept through the room, oh, she was here and I put a bullet in her face. Yeah. Okay. But also that she was a face slaver closed. and she deserved it. Yes, yes. Um, we still have to turn in some of these missions. I'm, I'm assuming you go back to her sister and just like, hey, uh, she wasn't who you said she was, and then now she's not who you think she is, because if you, you think she's alive, I've got some news for you, lady. Yeah. So, um, progress on this mission so far. Uh, Garoth's brother was on a ship that, like, somehow a trail led from the ship to this random Hoth-like planet. So... In the midst of exploring this Hoth-like planet, um, we come across a few things. One, a random geth trap that... These just happen sometimes. You expect to find a distress beacon, and actually it's a bunch of armatures in the middle of nowhere. Or armchairs, I like, as I like to call them sometimes. Mm. Geth armchairs. Um, 
And they're nothing really big. I mean, they're just armatures, so you can just dodge their shots because they fire really slow and stuff like that. Pretty easy peasy, lemon squeezy. But for some reason, my cannon doesn't shoot right, and I have it dead on the target, but for some reason, it's yeah, I noticed that. going straight over them. I don't know why. Um, but uh, after we get done completing all the side cut quests, we'll probably run back to the Citadel after Pharos, probably. So we can check up on Conrad, because I know we want to do that. Oh, yes. Um, and uh, that's when we'll turn in all this stuff. We'll just head to Pharos immediately after doing all these random side quests and missions and stuff. Death I also, to uh, the Geth. <laughs> I also um, made a mental note. I need to get heavy armor for Shepard. I completely forgot to get heavy armor. So I will be putting points in that over the course of the next few missions. Well done. Get the experience. Yeah. I try to hop out when I remember to, to get the uh, bigger experience. That's you can do that to Thresher Maws, too. <clears throat> Speaking of which, this was my first Thresher Maw that I came across, and they're terrifying. I thought they were only on the Krogan homeworld. No, they're everywhere. They're absolutely terrifying, too, because I didn't... I forgot they were in the game. <laughs> and um, I just come came across this random beacon, and it just spawns, and I hear that rat noise, and I'm just like, what the fuck? And then Shadow um, of the Colossus music starts playing. Yeah, sort of. They're pretty harmless um, unless you are unfortunate enough that one spawns underneath you, because basically all they do is just pop up, look at you, and then go back down, and then try to pop up underneath you again. But if they do pop up underneath you. That's the amount of damage they can do with you in one hit. Jeez. So this is me taking a second to go, uh, I should probably repair before I continue dicking with this thing. Because they're lethal. Thresher Maws are not to be screwed with. You, you, you never, ever fight them outside of a tank unless you're just completely just dumb. They, they, they do too much damage. But, they don't have any shields. Thank god. Woohoo! So you're talking about flipping tanks over, and if that was actually possible? Uh, the answer is yes. And, um... My tank is really not happy oh, right now. Oh, shit! It was quite the hit. Shepard's just kinda like, uh, no. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, one more hit and explosion damage right there. <laughs> it's the most messed up I've ever seen the Mako. Uh. Normally, it doesn't get into much trouble on its own, but these Thresher Maws can really mess it up if they hit it at the wrong angle. Well, so they do thresh. They thresh and thrash and eat your face. We're almost done killing it though. I kind of wish I'd fast forward to the end of this part, but hey, it's made of motto. Give a little bit of a feel for exactly how much health they have and how hard they are to murder. Not so much difficult, but definitely time consuming. Hi. There we go. He dropped money! Apparently, Thresher Maw's eating money. <laughs> You're probably not the first adventurers to come his way. Probably not. So this is the the base that we tracked uh, Groth's brother to. We're gonna quickly clear this place out. A few anti-tank turrets and a few foot soldiers. A lot, a lot less well defended compared to the last base we went to on the other planet. I'm pretty sure I remember to fast forward this combat. Yes, I did. Okay, good. So, um, I had to reassign my, um, keybinds on my controller. So, I might ask you to hit my five through six, these keys right here when we're playing, if I pop key stuff up there. But my really important stuff is all bound to my, like, directional pad, so I'll be able to take care of all that stuff. Oh, 
<laughs> you just... Oh, that's that wasn't Tally. Okay. No, it was just a random person. I thought you were shooting Tally as she was backing up. I think I had the same thought, and that's why I was, like, delayed in reacting. That's when I remembered I could actually die in these situations. I was doing pretty good for a while. I've gotten my um, fitness up pretty high. I was waiting for that one. Popped her in the face. I'm still screwing around with my like weapon configurations and trying to get all the hotkeys correct. But I'm bad with a sniper rifle. Ugh. Can't wait till I get the points to invest in this thing so I can actually use it. I've got too many other things I need to max out first. Is that everything? No. Did one of them just say enemies everywhere? That's a Caden line. They all say Caden stuff. Sadly, that guy died. Captain Wilhelm of the SFV Majesty? Yeah, I think so. Not sure if that's a reference to anything. But that's uh, Mr. Dude's brother. So, um, that's the next, or, yeah, the third mission, I think, that we've tried to recover someone or rescue someone, and uh, it hasn't really worked out. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. So, um, that admiral that was right next to Garoth, we uh, eventually tracked down his crew to this planet, and we find that they're all dead next to a giant thresher mall. So, it's not hard to discover exactly what happened here. And I hope to God I remember to fast forward this one. I did. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, me, for being having forces. Just disappeared. That's what they do when they die. Vanish. Yeah, because they have really weird buggy animations for that. Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were. Basically, the rule in Mass Effect is if you see a distress beacon, just ignore it. It appears these men were under the command of Admiral. And I was trying to find a way to turn it off, but apparently you can. So. Great. So more people are gonna die senselessly. Yeah. Good job, Shepard. If there are more Thresher Maws around, which there probably are. Yeah. Okay. And this is. Oh yeah, this is another situation with crazy biotics on on a freighter. That we end up coming across on the SS Ontario, I think, is the name of the ship. So we can grab Tally and Liara and go in and check out this nonsensical situation. And this is the first uh, mission we've actually had on board of a space vessel. So I wanted to look at it a little bit. It's kind of rare that you come across these, but they're really cool because I like the the feel of the spaceships in this game. And it's really rare having to do like actual spaceship combat, sort of. It gives me a little bit of a Star trek -y vibe. It's quiet, too quiet. Oh Bruders, shit! Kill the hostage. We got a timer. Kill the hostage in three minutes because for some reason we're gonna wait. Yeah, there's no reason for them to wait that long. <laughs> Hi, Garrus. I wasn't imagining you being here, but okay. That's actually a Garrus line, too, isn't it? I've heard him say that. Yeah, he says that a lot. All Turians just do that sort of thing? All, all Turians love holding their lines. Well, you know those Turians and their lines and their calibrating. Pretty soon they're going to be calibrating their lines and then we're all screwed. All Turians, simu all Turians simultaneously turn into artists one day. Like, like, really, really precise perspective artists. Well, men, we're dealing with some th serious three-point perspective here. Not all of us are coming back from this one, but look, we will hold the lines. Look, the text turned orange. That's how you know it's serious. 
Oh no, they're gonna wait two more minutes. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Why don't you? And finish you the had charade? plenty of time. Please, I was trying to help you people. Let's not do anything we're all gonna regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it's, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants. And now talking to Caden, you really know the backstory of this a lot better. Okay. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. <laughs> I was really thinking about this. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns yes, will take another excellent. look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this What is going on with the if lighting? Known, the reparation. Oh yeah. Come. I don't know. Well, what is going on? That's a little weird. Maybe there's a lamp shade overhead that's just kind of That doesn't make any You're sense. Right. And if there was, they would have shown it in some sort of cinematic. Maybe something like, will happen this time. Framing. We surrender. Cuz it would look nice. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. A fifth fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. So, um, solving all problems without getting people killed. Unless they're already dead, in which case... Eh. It's kind of the way all these side quests have worked so far. <laughs> Yeah, the take of Message coming it. in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing Not with the sure hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. You only killed five people on that mission, so we're giving you a medal of honor. <laughs> All right, uh, missing survey team. I don't remember exactly who gives you this quest, um, but there's a missing survey team. So let's go find them, I guess. Oh, I remember. I remember I would show you this one. Tank versus foot soldiers, who will win? <laughs> splat, splat, splat. Splat. Hold the line. You guys weren't forming a line. Splat. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and let's see it again, it's slow motion. Knocked it out of the park. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, I had to do an instant replay on that. I was so happy with how that worked out. It was ridiculous. I love making the ragdoll physics work in my favor. Anyway. Um, I really hope I come across more little people to shot like that. That was so fun. This place looks abandoned. So, this is a research camp, apparently. I think most of this, um, the rest of this is pretty close together, so I didn't really do much clipping forward or back after I got here. The place you need to go to actually check on where the logs say the people are isn't too far away. It's like literally, you could throw a rock and hit it, so I didn't do much dicking around in here. But, place your bets now. What happened to the research team? Thresher Maw. Thresher Maw? Biotics. Bio a biotic Thresher Maw. <laughs> that would be scary, <laughs> but no. Okay, so um, this is the research site. You want to change your answer? Death. 
Wait, if they're researching, they probably found a Prothean ruin, in which case... Saren? With Geth? That's my final answer. Saren with Geth in the Prothean ruins. Give us Saren with Geth in the Pro Pro Prothean ruins. Yep. I'll tell you what, this is creepy. This entire scenario is creepy as hell. Ah, oh, hell. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, a little bit of, little bit of zombie vibe going on here. Check out the explosions, Please. though. Some nice fireworks, big green, blue, Jeez, and... How many of them are there? A lot. There are a lot of them. The survey team must have unearthed some alien technology that turned them into But that's only a theory. Whatever the game a theory. very precise the theory, but still a theory. So, um... That's gonna turn to be right. Sort of. I was getting really huge Indiana Jones vibe. Indiana Jones vibes after this one. Indiana Jones did a lot to um, to uh, inject interesting stuff into archaeology storylines. National Treasure is basically a modern Indiana Jones series. Only not as good. Well, I can't speak for that because I never watched them. But I would I would be hard pressed to believe that any any uh, globe-trotting adventure series could be as good as Indiana Jones. It was okay. I liked it, but you're substituting Harrison Ford for, for Nicolas, Nicolas Cage. Cage. Hey, you know, if it was written really well, it could be good. Probably not Indiana Jones good, but good. Yeah. Alright, so with that, I think this is... Pretty sure this is all of the side quests. Um, the only thing left in here is a bunch of like the pylons that the husks spawn on. So it's kind of obvious that the Exogeny Corporation like sent their survey survey team or whatever down in here, and they all got turned into machine zombies because they had to build additional pylons. Yes. 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 Couldn't leave that one hanging out there. Yes. <laughs>